Welcome back to Rule of Rose, right where we left off. Have to, uh, yeah. We just completed the bird. Was it the bird? I don't remember. <laughs> I'm. Good morning, Jennifer. Do you remember anything new? Hmm. I see. You remember one of them. See, so yeah, uh, but that's still not good enough. You, s you're such a silly gal. Hurry, hurry, read the story, Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, we just found the bird and we got a nice weird thing of the bird. I don't know. So we're still going to go back to doing two chapters per part just to finish the story up as fast as possible. And I feel like, ooh, the goat sisters. I feel like that if we don't do two chapters, this game will take a lot longer. The goat sisters. I don't know what that said. Little sister wrote a letter, ba ba. Big sister munched it up, ba ba. Little sister studied her notes, ba ba. Big sister tore them to shreds, ba ba. It seems just like a standard relationship right now. Little sister wanted to read big sister the letter, but so she fetched it from her sister's stomach. Damn. But with big sister dead in a pool of amber blood, who was there to read the letter to, ba ba. I had to find the last page. Hmm. I was gonna say, yeah, it seems like a uh, standard sibling rivalry. Older sibling torments the younger sibling. I know I did with mine. <laughs> All right, let's see what the ghost sisters and titles. September 1930, the ghost sisters. Ooh. They can rip it apart. Yep. Oh, they're pulling our moth. So, is that an axe? When the unlucky girl closed the storybook, the wise looking princess was in the room. The princess said softly, She actually said, I'd read it again. Hmm. It's not here either. If someone else finds it, there must be something very important to you. Why don't you go find it? Okay. Meg's pencil. The name Meg is written on the pencil. Okay. So I guess I won't need the bird book. Let me just drop that. I still don't know what these are used for. I guess I'll drop these. Uh, 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 news article. I don't need this one. And I won't need this either, I don't think. Look at this. That's a strange sack here. Something is rustling around inside it. Can I not look inside of it? Lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly lolly, how to make icky water. Oh wait, how do I make icky water? You put the thing and the thing and the thing and the thing and the thing. Okay. Well, can I pick up this axe? A design draft for some machine is posted on the wall. Well, I want the axe. Come on, I'm pretty sure that would be much more effective than a pipe. Damn it. No X for me. What the hell am I? I don't even know how I got here. Lower decks, huh? Yeah, no clue. I'm still confused as to why we are uh, on an airship, by the way. Ooh. Oh, wait, never mind. That's not something we can read. What? Is it right here? Or is it because I went, went too far away and you didn't know what to do? I don't know. Aristocrat page. The Red Crayon Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the prince and princess. I promise to love thy neighbor. I shall offer a monthly gift. I shall punish the unfaithful. Go. And I guess by punishing the unfaithful, that means uh, shoving a rat in their face. Okay. This way, Baron. I'll trust you. Can't find 
find it anywhere. I don't even know what we're looking for. The letter? Seems like this would be a very dangerous place for kids to be in. Okay, Baron, I heard you the first time. Stray dog list. Baron, I call him Baron Brown. His name's Brown. Stray dog's notes. The following are notes on the monster stray dog. As described to us by the beautiful Princess of the Rose. He is a big, strong, scared, loyal, talkative, cleanly, and he kidnaps children who don't do their chores. Current tasks, strange dog investigation, first floor, restroom. Gather notes from rumors, scribbled on walls, assigned to Susan. The sloppy prince paused from his sword practice and said, What's Miss May looking for? A gift? Probably not. Miss Diana already found the goat. Anyway, I've got, I've got a train to improve my speed. I'm preparing for a duel, hehe, <laughs> so don't bother me. Okay. You have fun with your duel. Have I been down this area before? I don't know. Also, I feel like there's probably a whole bunch more stuff that I'm missing that I just don't have the... Uh, knowledge of it. Like, I don't think I was ever given the knowledge. Maybe it's in the book. In the booklet, but that I do not have. Oh. Jeez, Brown. You gotta be rude. Yes, I hear you. That's a noose. An ice pick? That's gonna be sharp. Let's see. Nice pick. It's cold to the touch. Deathly cold. Alright, this is the last page. Jennifer found love letter. Oh, Diana, Diana, I love you with all my heart. Meg. Can't read what else it says. Oh, Diana, Diana, something or something, blah, blah. And we'd find things. Oh, gosh, it's a goat boy. Oh, it's tall. No. Now, why do you people gotta, like, lock me into areas? Seriously. The combat in this is so awkward. Okay, I think it's dead. You really gotta stop locking me into places and forcing me to fight. Like, if the combat was more refined, I wouldn't care, but this combat is not refined. Like, it also like how there's, like how there's a noose there. Get me out of here. Please, all these goats hybrid thing majiggers. So I wonder if these things attack the other children, or if they just only attack poor little Jennifer. Back we go to storage, where we're probably going to be showing more monsters to fight. The strong-willed princess and the cold princess were talking. The unlucky girl listened quietly. That's why I don't like her. She follows me everywhere. It's pathetic. What do you think, Eleanor? She's, she was writing you a love letter. I already got it. And ripped it in half. Oh. I tried to make the goat eat it, but it wouldn't even look at it. Ugh. I see. Well, what should I do with the rest of the letter? Well, what should you do? Hey, it's up. Perfect timing, Jennifer. I have a job for you. What's that? What's the job? Part of this letter was torn off and is missing. I need you to go find it. Okay. Oh, Diana, I don't know. Where for art thou, Diana? I don't know what it says. Seems to be a letter but meant for Diana, but it is torn impossible to read. Okay. Brown. I don't need it. I don't think I need any of this stuff, so. Let's just drop that. Drop that. And yeah. Alright, Brown. This is our job now. Go find it. Oh, wait, what's that? 
What that? What that? What that? Pick up. Meg's little uh, book. Meg, Margaret's little book. Meg. Chapters: The Prince and the Princess, Aristocrat Club Manners, Meg's Invention Corner, Finding on the Land of Imp Findings in the Land of Imp the Imps. Princess and the Princesses, curtsying, yep. Hosting, Jennifer, your efforts this month deserve special recognition. You managed to find Peter and will be amply rewarded. Meg's Invention Corner, Torture Chair, Spinning Chair. Hmm. And, Torture Bag, Song for an Onion, Onion Bag, Secrets of the Land of the Imps is missing. Player in front of the popular airships. Thorfinn has built several. Oh, are we actually in like a playroom of sorts since that aren't orphanages oh. or part of the orphan or part of the orphanage? Her. Hmm. Whatever. Where are we, where are we going, Baron? Or Brown? Oh, it's gonna be a thing. I shall call him Baron because we had the knife that was Baron and Baron was a dog in Tumba. Uh. Which way do we go? Which way do we go? I'm gonna guess this way. Where are we going? Brown? Damn, he took off. I was just sitting there taking a drink of water and you're like, nope, I'm out. Oh, you know, it couldn't be that. It couldn't be like a airship thing because, or playground, because we're actually in the air. Like when we go up to the uh, VIP suites, we can look out and we see the air. And then when we climbed, oh, where could it have gone? So that's where this area is. And also we were up on the very top of it too, where, uh, da, 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 what's her name? Actually, she, since we're here, might as well check. This is the first four restrooms, right? Hush. Wait, this looks... Hello? Uh -huh. hmm. I heard whispers and I did not like it. Yeah, this is the first floor toilet, so we can see if we have any of the stray dog thing, Majigger. But I see no writing on the wall, so. Never mind. Alright, let's go, Brown. You keep barking at me. I'm sorry. I'm exploring. Jeez. Oh boy. These things are back. Oh gosh, there's goat ones too now. So these, do these things still only show up for Jennifer? That's what I'm curious about. Or is the big plot twist in the game going to be that Jennifer is just going around killing these orphans? I don't know. I just don't like this area. I don't like them. They gotta stop dragging me and dragging me to places, though. Oh, hey, I finally can go in here, at least. A luggage. They have fucking weapons now? No. Lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly, 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 lollipop. Ow. Brown, you're not really helping. All you're doing is barking in a at a clock. Like I was saying, if the combat was better, I wouldn't care as much. 
But as it stands, the combat is not the best. <sighs> These things are still not nice. Ooh. There was a... Okay. Thanks, Brown. There you are. Yes, here I am. There you are. Okay. Here I am. Are we going to yell at me? Oh, you fucking set me up. How could you do that to me? What did I ever do to her? I can't get along with girls like her. <laughs> it's into the onion bag for her. Her voice got like something octaves deeper now. A spider, huh? How do they get her in this bag? <laughs> and now we're suddenly back in an or in the orphanage. I am so still so confused. At least Brown is still by my side. I, I'm confu so confused still with this. I am sure it's gonna be something. The ragged goat doll is lying on the floor. A piece of paper is underneath it. I'm pretty sure it's all going to be explained by the end of the game, at least. Even true love is quickly shredded by... Uh... Uh, what is it? Blah, blah, blah. Goat sisters. Still can't read that one. Sister study her notes. Oh, this is a... Uh... Okay, so... Diana was the big, is the big sister, the goat, the little sister is Meg. At least, but with her big sister dead in a pool of amber blood, who is there to read the letter to, Baba? Even Trulo is quickly shredded by conflict. Okay. The unlucky girl remembered the promise she made to her dear friend, so she wrote it on the chalkboard. So she never forget it ever again. Everlasting true love. Is that it? Indeed it is. Do you remember? 21st night of September. Now it's back to October. Huh? I'm really starting to feel sorry for Jennifer. Like, I. Hopefully, it, it, they're just being mean to her in general, and that's it. And it's not going to be just because she's actually a bad person and this is her personal health or something like that. How was it, Jennifer? Do you remember now? Uh, 
Oh, I see you remember the second one. But that's not all of it. You really are a silly gal. Hurry, hurry, read another story, Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last one. Let's see who the last one is. Hopefully it'll all make sense soon. Pick it up. Mermaid Princess. Mermaid Princess. Ah, oh, she's dead. A long, long time ago, the Mermaid Princess fell in love with a human prince. But for years, her love went unrequited. Before long, she was old and decrepit. All alone, even on the day of her death. The poor, poor princess of the sea kingdom. Who ever wanted to become an ugly woman like her? Yeah, poor Ariel. But Ursula didn't give her them legs after all. Uh, I'd probably skip these savings, but it's easier just to save and be over, be over with it. Mm, August. Damn, so went from like September to August. So, so is this one supposed to be the first one? I completely forgot what other months were, were earlier though. Hmm. August 1930, Mermaid Princess. Everybody's hanging by fishing hooks. Whoa, where are we now? When the unlucky girl closed the storybook, the strong-willed princess was there in the room and said sourly, Rats, the fish is gone. Mr. Hoffman will be furious. You should be looking for your own precious thing. Uh, there's nothing inside. Oh, well, we've... What was she doing there? Just like bashing on the wall. Hey, I'll let her. Shortbread. Oh boy. Oh. I guess we can get rid of all this stuff now too. We need that one. We should not need this. Or this. Or this. Uh, 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 I guess we really don't need the rusty scissors either anymore we should like see if we can find some more of these so we can actually have some health okay nothing of that uh what that out of the way brown the camera's going crazy oh there's the item box okay Uh, just weird. First class guest sector. Ah, yes, we're moving up in the world. Now we're in first class. Oh, wait. Oh, that's what that room is. Okay. We going here yet? Still no. What the? Oh, she's the crybaby princess. Please don't cry. No way. There's no such thing. This month's gifts and unmarked. Uh, or unmarried mermaid. What the hell is an unmarried mermaid? Uh. Oh, something happened. The cold princess and the wise-looking princess were talking. The unlucky girl quietly listened in. If they couldn't hear her stomping down the stairs. Diana was quite upset. Don't you think that was too much? We had to do it. Besides, there's no such thing as mermaids. Don't you agree, Meg? You're right. That was the only thing we could do. And even, uh, what was her name? Eleanor was looking straight up. At, uh... The stairs. So she should have seen her. Hello, girls. Then the wise-looking princess asked, How about you, Jennifer? Do you believe in mermaids? The cold princess said. 
They're such beautiful and pure creatures. I don't know, the mermaids from the old tales are not. <laughs> You're looking for a mermaid too, aren't you? Then you better hurry. Diana might find it before you. Okay, so exploration. Ooh, a thing. Fish scale. Brown, we can use this. It's a fish scale, shiny and blue. Brown. No, oh, that's a weird looking fish scale. I need you to find this, buddy. Go find it. Uh, cargo bay, cargo bay. Ooh, a thing on the ground. What's that? Candy. Oh boy. Oh, there's still a crap ton of blood around here. From when I beat that one guy. Senseless. She'll never find it before me. We have Brown on the case. He's got that strong nose. I don't know what kind of dog he would be considered. Maybe a lab. Probably a lab mix. Kind of looks like a lab. Do Labradors have a good sense of smell? Hmm. I wouldn't know. There's the old crotchety bastard with the little girl. I forget what her name was. Well, is he going to do unspeakable things to her? He better not. I don't, even, I don't even know her name or care about her, but still, he better not. What's that? Play Bottom of the Sea. Bottom of the Sea. <laughs> bottom of the Sea. Down where it's wetter. Down where it's better. <laughs> Take it from me. Uh, hmm. Where does this lead? I still, I still like how uh, Brown like walk downstairs and gets stuck in the animation of walking downstairs. Ooh, is that a cleaver? A meat cleaver. Now we're talking. I found a fish head. That's probably not good. It's a fish's head that's been chopped off its body. I'm sorry, Jennifer. Should I get a fish head? What's next? Ooh. Uh, mighty cleaver, a large, heavy knife that can cut through bone. How about I put that one instead? See what that moves sets like. Eh, eh. Just stabbing with the knife or the meat cleaver instead of chopping. <laughs> uh, whatever. It gives me a lot of different weapons, which is weird. Alright. Go find the thing. I mean, there's only one, only one place to go, and that's up here, so. We'll get up here and then we'll find out where it is. Now go find the rest of the fish. We're probably gonna get in trouble again because the fish is chopped in half. Or it's missing its head. And everyone is picking on poor unlucky Jennifer. Dum. that candy lollipop lollipop oh lolly 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 lollipop ba -dum, boom, boom. what the what the heck uh there are his fish or brown go uh the fish has got to be this way, I just know it. 
What about the fish that are just flying around? Like, isn't that something you should be warned about or wary about? Or is just Jennifer just losing her mind, I guess? I'm so lost, by the way. Is the fish body? Doll legs. The top half of the doll is missing. Okay, what's next? I guess we can... Don't need this anymore. Or this. Or this. And definitely not this. Find this and we'll move on. Go. Now go and find the rest of the doll. Oh yes, I love that my running speed is just faster than Brown's. So I had to like wait when I get to junctions. Oh, that's a lot of them. Uh, hmm. It's a whole school of fish. Mermaid room. Ooh, what's happening? What is he doing? What was he doing? That I easily he was. Wait, what? Huh. Oh no, is this gonna be a boss fight thing? Is that on his- on the toe? I was on the feet, okay. Oh hey, it's that one girl. So like I killed her. Oh, it's a mermaid, I get it. Ugh. Brown, you're not really helping. You're just barking. Oh, well. Fuck me. Jennifer, get up! Are we injured? Oh, you can cut this. The... Gill slits in. Oh no. God, this combat is so weird. Like, what's the point of Brown? All he does is just. Uh, you know. Bark at it. Doesn't do much else. It's like a reverse game of Pop Goes the Weasel. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, Brown's unconscious. Oh, they. There we go. The. What? What in blazes? Just who did this? Who made this mess? And may you blame again? Was it you? Go on, tell me. Ooh, this guy's so creepy. Answer me, Diana. No new mummy or daddy will ever want you if you don't like that. Oh god, this is so creepy. I won't be angry. Just answer me. Oh, I'm, I'm creeped out. You were in charge after all. Uh, 
Oh yeah, I I agree, but that's so creepy. Ugh. Oh, now I see. It was you. It was your fault that I got into trouble. Give it here. Oh my, I see a stain. I've got to clean it up, or Mr. Hoffman will be angry with me. Oh, man. Mr. Hoffman creeps me the fuck out. And, yeah. Everything else about this creeps me out still as well. <laughs> More Jennifer's kind of hurt. All right, so where's the page or something? Is it on the bed? Nope. In here, maybe? Oh. Mermaid doll. A slip of paper is peeking out of its tummy. I am yours, even in death. Ugh. Mr. Hoffman just gave me the entire creeps for that. Ugh. Blah, 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 we know. He's upset. Died in a day of her death. The poor blah, blah, blah. Who'd ever want to become an ugly woman like her? I am yours, even in death. That's it? What is it? Oh, you remember the promise she made to her dear friend? <clears throat> and wrote it down so it's on the chalkboard. But she never forget it ever again. And that is everlasting true love. I am yours. I am yours, everlasting true love. I am. Okay, how's it supposed to go? This is all just. Mix and matched up, I guess. Oh, well, I guess we'll find out in the next part. Thank you all for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed. If not, that's okay. I'm still enjoying this game, even though it's really weird. But I will see everyone in the next video of what I do. Bye, guys.